For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, uh, I'm going to share few Linux interview questions and answers which will help you to gain your uh, interview so you can uh, answer all of these questions if if you get any of these questions in interview so let's start it there are few questions uh, which is basically for linux uh, l1 position so the basic interview questions and answers so let's see this what are those exactly those uh, questions and answers here so if you see that uh, the first question is which of the following directory will hold network configuration files so uh, there are few options is provided um, first one is slash etc second one is slash etc sysconfig network dot scripts and the third one is um, slash var sysconfig slash etc slash sysconfig so here one of the thing is that slash etc is one of the uh, question which is also a correct answer if you say slash etc also which holds the configuration files but if you go little more detailed so slash etc slash sysconfig is the one which will also hold the network configuration files under that directory but if you go little more detailed information and this uh, slash etc slash sysconfig network iphone scripts so this is the directory which contains the configuration file exactly so that's why so slash uh, etc slash is config network iphon scripts so there is the directory which contains the exactly network configuration files so the next one is ravi as sys administrator wants to enable dhcp server on machine so so Ravi want to enable the DHCP on server okay the server should allow the clients to use IP on to four hours up to four hours which means that whenever the system has been boot up then they will get the IP address using the DHCP then the DHCP address should be valid for four hours so what is the parameter you configure in a linux so that is called as an dhcp lease so the maximum lease time you have to configure is called uh, 14400 seconds so that's what converts to the four hours if you calculate the four hours in a reverse manner so that's what the uh, seconds uh, you will get the value over here so the next question is going to be which of the following command can be used to check whether dns is configured correctly or not so which command you have to use whether you want to verify whether the dns is responding perfectly or not the dns on the system is configured perfectly or not so the first command is ping second command is nslookup third command is ip config and fourth one is ip address so the first command is used to ping the system the remote system whether it is alive or reachable or not the second command is nslookup basically you can verify this ns using this command the dns um, records whenever you look up for the nslookup so if you look for ip to name name to ip so nslookup is the command which will basically provide the details of this uh, IP to name name to IP details so IP config which will be used for getting the uh, IP configuration in RGL 5 and 6 and 7 also but uh, you have to install the legacy command support IP address is the one of the command in RGL 7 and 8 to uh, list the IP addresses so that's why the answer is NSLOOKUP so next question is which of the following demands are needed for samba to handle its work so basically whenever you configure the samba server so what are the demands or the what are the services you start to uh, configure the samba or how the samba will handle the services the which services handle the 
samba so basically smb so this is also a correct answer but which requires the one more service which is called as an smb and nmb so both are the services you need to switch on either you wanted to use the smb services you want to access that uh, uh, shares on the remote server or you want to mount the same server on the remote machine so then both the services should be on so that's why which is called as an smb and nmb so the next question is which of the following command can be used to display the logical volumes present in the system so which command you will basically use to verify whether the logical volumes are exist on the system or not so pv display so basically this provides the physical volumes whether it is the physical volumes are present or not and uh, next one lvm so which is not exactly the command uh, lvm is a term um, vg display vg display will give you the vg details so what are the volume groups we have on the system so the next command is lv display so that is what exactly we need uh, to display the logical volumes whether it they are present in your system or not so lv display is the uh, command which is the answer for the question which of the following parameters should be should be set in the dhcp configuration file so that the client will get a fixed ip address so the client whenever you want to reserve the ip address to the clients or the whenever you want to fix one of the ip address to the client so what is the parameters you have to configure in a dhcp server so first one is reserved ip address second one is fixed address the third one is reserved address fourth one is the fixed ip so fixed ip there is no parameter in a dhcp configuration fixed address is also not a configuration so reserved address is the configuration parameter you have to configure in a dhcp server so that uh, the dhcp will be reserved reserving the ip address to the clients so that whenever the system has been rebooted then the server will get the fixed ip address from the dhcp so that is called as a same like static ip address so it won't change if you reboot multiple times as well so that is called as a fixed ip address from the dhcp server so the next one is uh, which of the following configuration should be done to enable auto mounting in a client side so basically when whenever you you have exported the nfs shift nfs shares from the server nfs server example so you wanted to mount it automatically on the client side you don't need to ma manually mount them basically so they will they should automatically mount in a client system so how, what is the um, things what are the services you need to enable in order to do that so the first one is uh, nfs so nfs is the server uh, auto fs auto fs is the service samba service and nb service so the you can emulate both of the uh, below services samba and nmb is not used for uh, auto mounting the systems those are the smb services are the samba services used okay and nfs basically nfs is the server which you can uh, basically shade or export the exports auto fs is the one which you have to use to auto mount the um, file system on the client side so which of the following service can be used for file sharing so here there is a uh, logic behind it or there is a tricky question this one is so if you see uh, which of the following service can be used for file sharing so file sharing can not only be done by the nfs it can be done by the samba or it can be done by the different services web dev or something like that but in these options there is only one service which provides the file sharing so that is nfs dhcp is for uh, ip reservation or ip allocations for the clients automatic ip address and dns is providing the uh, naming services and virtual web hosting is for hosting the multiple websites in a single web server so eliminate all of these options and nfs is the one which is used for file sharing so next question is which of the following 
is the configuration file related to DNS. So here there are few confusions if you see slash var slash named also contains the configuration file and uh, slash var slash named dot configuration also contains the configuration file but if you see that basically uh, slash var named slash named dot configuration is not the exact configuration file name slash var named is a directory slash var named dot com there is no configuration file for dns so slash var wwstml is the web hosting configuration because default root directory for the web server so slash etc slash name dot configuration is the configuration file so we use for dns configuration but uh, if you go to slash var named there is a one configuration file which is backlink or the which is the link back to the slash etc slash name dot configuration file so there is no confusion here so slash etc slash name dot configuration is the file which used for configuration configuring the dns services which of the following entry should be made in network configuration file of client to connect a dns server so basically how you connect the dns server from the client side so basically in ip address configuration if you are going to configure there is a parameter called dns so that is the one you have to use to um, configure the dns address over there so that if you configure that dns address over there so the dns server can be reachable or whenever you are querying for any uh, dns related queries example ip to name or name to ip conversation then this is the entry which will help to send these queries to the dns server if you do not configure this so the dns server won't respond or you won't resolve any naming services from your client so remember dns1 dns2 is the one configuration you have to add in a configuration file in order to contact dns server so the next one uh, which of the following is false regarding the logical volume so which says they are saying that which is the false one not the correct one so it is necessary to, to mount the logical volume to access it because without mounting the logical volume you cannot access it so that is correct answer which means that that is the correct one not the false statement uh, it is possible to make logical volume by specifying either number of extents or size so either you can make the logical volume using the extents or the size so that is the correct statement that is not the false statement uh, more than one logical volume can be made from a single volume group so that's correct so you can use the volume group uh, in that volume group we can create multiple logical volumes it is not necessary to mount the logical volume to access it so a and d is the conflicting statements you can see that so if the first one is the uh, true statement then d is the false statement so here you can simply understand that it is necessary to mount the logical volume to access it so this is the um, correct statement but it says it is not necessary to mount the logical volume to access it so that is the false statement so that is the answer which of the following is called as document root with respect to http server so in previous question also we got this similar uh, thing so over there uh, but not the answer we got but not the question so here slash var slash ww html is the one where uh, root the default root uh, for the document root for the web server so the next one and vinish enabled samba share in server 2 dot take arkt.com so the ip address is 192.168.2.5 he wants to check that all shares from remote client which of the following command will help you to check so basically he is in remote client so you want to verify whether the enabled samba shares are visible from the remote 
server or the remote client or not so how you can query that so you can query using the smb client if capital l of that ip address so that's our server name also you can use it if you, you have the dns uh, configured properly then other name so that way what it will do is that it will list out all of these shares which are enabled on the server2.techrkit.com so that's why you can use smb client is the command hyphen capital l is the option ramana as administrator ramana as administrator manages the dhcp server so ramana manages the dhcp server and he wants to check the client details is getting dynamic ip address from the dhcp server or not which of the following file can be used for this purpose so ramana want to verify that whether the client is getting the dynamic ip addresses or not from the dhcp server so what is the configuration file you have to verify so there is a one file called slash var lib dhcp dhcp leases so whenever the service whenever the system get the remote client get the details so the leases will be the you can list out the leases so how, how many clients got the leases so which means that they get the ip address they get the leases so that's the example um, you can verify the configuration over that so dhcp dot configuration file does not contain the client details so it contains the range of that ip uh, the scope of the DHCP you have configured on the DHCP server. So, which of the following file system is used for Samba file sharing? So, basically in server side, it's a different file system. But in a client side, whenever you are accessing the file system, so that is called a shift. It's a common internet file system. So, that's that's where you have used the cifs is the file system you use for samba file sharing that's about it guys those are the uh, interview questions and answers i hope these are helpful for your interview upcoming interviews anything so you can just watch it and remember those questions and answers then you can uh, hopefully you will get the uh, job done at your uh, interview so thanks for watching please subscribe and join this youtube channel for unpublished videos and courses so not only published videos there are so many unpublished videos which cannot be viewed by the public so only subscribers are the only join joined people to this youtube channel can only view those videos so if you want to see more content unpublished or uncut videos so then you can join to this channel you can view those videos thanks for watching stay tuned